Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 6 of my Farmcraft 3 Let's Play. We've upgraded to Minecraft 1.4.6, and that means we have red power. I'm gonna go find myself a volcano, because I want me some basalt. Alrighty then, I'm not going to make you watch any more of that because it goes on for about three hours and I proceed to run around through many, many different worlds and attempt to find volcanoes and just not have any luck. And Eventually, I found this one. There's a volcano over there, there's a volcano over there, there's a volcano back that way, and I've been busy. I decided to collect some animals. And I, yes, I did need the double the uh, double airlock here because the dang things keep getting out. And I mean literally getting out, not just fake getting out. I, I don't know how they keep literally getting out. It's kind of weird. Well, I'm going to collect all of these eggs because somebody hinted that they've got good transfer qualities. And as you can see, they do. <laughs> they have some pretty dang good transfer qualities. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, there was another one over here, I swear. No? Uh, maybe not. Okay. So I landed here in this field, and I really liked what I saw. I mean, there's a there's a tree there, a, a silverwood tree there. There's, there's a silverwood tree over there. There's a silverwood tree over there. There's a whole bunch of great wood trees up over there. This is, I figure this has to be at least a, a semi-reasonable reasonable area for um, aura strength, so that I can use it to make, you know, thumb crafty stuff. <clears throat> I had to do a little bit of finagling to get my, uh, I think it's in the red bag here. Uh, no, it's the green one then. Smooth. Yes. I had to do a little finagling to, ooh, what are you, get back here. To get my research back to the point that it was at, because it's a new world and everything. But as you can see, I've got my, my thermometer research. It's um, It still needs the knowledge, which is what we were doing the last time. And I've researched my book and... I've got the tallow golem, or the magic tallow, sorry, and night ore, elementium, basic transmutation, as well as tin, iron, and copper transmutation, and that's it, that's that's all I've got. You can't research anything down here until after you research the stuff up here, so yeah, it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> 
it's still just sitting right there. Anyway, <clears throat> now we just have to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to the volcano that's straight north from here. Uh, wait, that's not north, that's west. Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to run over to the volcano west from here. Uh, the seed in the description is the seed for the new world, if anybody is curious. And I'm going to go get some basalt. Wonderful. Okay, so I have ascended the volcano, which is in a very interesting valley, sharing a, an icy biome, a jungle biome, and a plains biome, and a, some hills, I think. Um, <clears throat> we have assembled, I have ascended to the top, and now I'm going to begin mining my way down. I'm going to harvest as much of this as I can, uh, you know, however much will fit in my inventory, and then we will return with some great materials to build a house out of. Oh, yeah. Alrighty then, and I have returned. I'm just gonna run in here really quick and collect any egg. There's no eggs, are there? You didn't drop a single egg while I was away. How? Ah. Why would you do this to me? Okay, so uh, my pickaxe broke, obviously. I ran it until it died. And now I've got a few good stacks of basalt cobblestone here that I'm gonna use to build a house. Well, you know, as soon as I get some marble too, because I want some marble. I want me some marble, dang it. The whole lower floor is going to be marble and basalt. There was a cave around here with marble in it, but I've completely forgotten where it was. You'll have to give me a minute to find it. Well, I didn't find it, but I found a different cave, and I can see some magic crystals at the bottom, or some viz crystal. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I need a pickaxe. Um, I've got pickaxes. i got spare pickaxes around here somewhere. i got to find them. There we go. Wow, I got a whole bunch of them in here. Okay, so we'll just take out you and you for now. Gotta remember, I still have the steel one in there. Copper. Coal. And you don't get to watch me mining. And whilst going after a little bit of copper that was hiding right over here, I appear to have found myself a nice deposit of marble. So, let the marble harvesting begin. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I found another one! This world is just full of volcanoes. I like it. Okay, so I've got the uh, all the marble that I'm going to need. I've got all the basalt that I'm going to need. Uh, it's time for me to start building a house. I'm probably going to use wood from those trees over there. Those are the, um, the piney, cold weather, whatever. I forget what they're called. Spruce, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna make a house now, and then we can get back to the thumb crafty stuff. Any, I don't suppose you guys gave me any. Is this, that's a giant slime. Okay, I want slime balls. I want your slime balls. You're gonna give me your slime balls. Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you. Rain! Ah! Buggering rain. Slime. I can't pick up the slime because my inventory is full. Crap nuggets. Festive.
Alrighty then. Now that's what I call a house. Nice and big, got a few rooms to it, or at least it will. It's nothing fancy yet, clearly, but it's marble basalt and I will make it into something fancy here pretty quick. This is going to be my thumb crafty room upstairs. Most definitely, I'm gonna have to add some rooms to it, a few other things, let me just knock down this ladder first, and then I'm gonna start moving in. I'll come back after I've got everything Prepared. Oh, and by the way, vote in the comments if you like this particular style of Minecrafting. I'm not, that's the only piece of music that I have that I can freely use on these videos. But if you would prefer that I just super compress the, uh, you know, the moments when I'm not doing diddly crap squat and I'm just running around or I'm building a house or I'm mining or something like that, and then just put some music in the background, or if you would rather I skipped over it, let me know. Alrighty then, and the inside of my house is now complete. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a water pool. I'm going to put a cauldron right here. A little bit of fire. Put a cauldron down and smash it with a wand. Ooh, pretty. And then, of course, got to fill it with water. I think it takes two buckets. Ah! No, no, no. In the... No! Ah! I guess not. I'm not surprised. I'm just crazy. Works for me. Okay, so we've got our research table over here with all our thumb crafty goodness and the bed and the charcoal. Must have more charcoal. Seriously, I. <laughs> and then uh, just you know, just in case something sneaks up on me, I got some potions of swiftness and some potions of invisibility duration eight. You know, emergency escape plan and all that fun stuff. Gotta have that. I got a dog. I found him out in the wilderness and I had like a stack of bones on me. So yes. We've also got the wonderful enchanting table over here, which is capable of doing full level 30 enchants. Uh, I'm going to start enchanting books, which is why I've got them sitting over here in this chest whenever I get to 30, in the hopes of getting something with fortune on it. And then once I've got a fortune, I'm probably going to attach it to a, just straight up to a diamond pickaxe, because, well, I mean, if you could assure that you were going to get fortune on a diamond pickaxe, you'd do it. Yes, you would. You, you know you would. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. And then, of course, we've got a little farm just going down here. Nothing special, just lots of potatoes, or topaters, or whatever you want to call them. I really don't care. But we're now going to go upstairs, and we're going to get a little bit more research done. First and foremost, we've got the research notes for the thermometer. Almost complete, just needs a little bit of cognito. Now, I have checked it out, and you guys are completely correct. Cursory versus thorough, there is, I checked the config, and there is actually a slight benefit if you do thorough. Cursory, yeah, you do have a reduced chance of getting, basically your, the percentages are off. If you do thorough, you get more bang for your buck, um, just period, overall. There, there I, I don't really see much advantage to doing, you know, non cur or cursory the thorough just is it's better okay so you believe this mystical device will point you in the direction of nearby sources of mystical energy right click and boom okay thalmanomicon what do we got what do we got we got we got we got, we got, we got, we got, we got. 
The thermometer acts like a mystical compass, pointing you towards the center of the nearest magical aura. You are confident you'll be able to craft more refined devices in the future, allowing you to discover more information about aura nodes. For now, this will have to do. So, now it looks like it has to be a water shard and some gold ingots in an arcane work table. So that means I need to get a work table. Alright, I've got a little bit of wood on me here. Oh, wait. As I recall, there's also some down here. Perfect, here we go. Okay, so... I need to get, uh, I think it was like this. Yes, that's what I need. Now then, uh, Thalmanomicon. Where's the work table? Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's, that's, it, that's it. Okay, so I decided I wanted to have it kind of centered in the room here, so we're going to put it yeah, I think. And then if I just smack it with a wand... Ah, there we go. Just like so. Okay, now, I need a water shard, as well as, oh, where did I put the gold? One, two, three, four bits of gold. Let's get that thermometer going. Doing, 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 and water shard, boom. All right, take this out, and look at that. We have us a thermometer. Points us over in this direction somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. Ooh, it's nighttime. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep, because that would be the intelligent thing to do. You know, make it not nighttime. I suppose I could nick one of those potions of invisibility if I really wanted to, but I'm not really in the mood right now. So, here we go. Hello, Mr. Angry Zombie. You were not here a second ago. Okay, um, this way, this way. It's pointing at the tree, isn't it? Of course it's pointing at the tree. I should have known it would be pointing at the tree. <laughs> of course it's pointing at the tree, numb nuts. It's got a magical source of energy in it. <laughs> All these trees will be the nearby magical sources of energy. I already knew that. I'm a dumbass. How did... Seriously? Did you... Okay, apparently I need another torch. Uh, I'm gonna guess there. Hopefully that's good enough. Om nom nom among the taters. Okay. So, wait, yes. Here for that. And this goes here. Wow, I got a full... Th okay. Uh, now. Thomonomicon. What should I do now? Um... I believe that is magical cloth. So, I gotta get a bit of string, but rather than that, I'm going to get a couple of iron ingots here. Oh, you're done? Good, good. Uh, I actually have a something I'm going to. Oh, wait, three. I'm gonna make an anvil with this for uh, obvious reasons. And why is that not making an iron block? I have to have a compressor, don't I? Right, because of industrial craft. Um, okay, well, I'm going to cheat because I'm kind of trying to focus on Thumbcraft 3, and I don't want to have to... Well, you know. Yeah. I don't want to have to go through the process of getting all that just so that I can have a freaking anvil for all my work. No. We're doing this. There. Now I have an anvil. Um, oh, I know. Let's just stick it right there. Sweet. Okay. Good to go. Now I can actually enchant things. Um, right. I need some shears. And you go in here. All right. Now this is why it was a good idea for me to collect all of these animals. They were running around in the field before. They probably just would have gotten eaten if I hadn't rescued them and put them in this pen. Where they will forever be mine. Yeah, ha ha. Thank you. Now, more wool. Give me all of the wools and the eggs. I want the eggs too, you know, because, you know, they're eggs. They're useful. Yada -dee. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, gentlemen. You have been most helpful. Back to the... Ow. Smooth move. Okay, so now then, if we've researched the cloth... 
Uh, let's see, not the paper. And uh, where'd my cloth go? Okay, we'll start with the gray. Good. All right, so it's that. Uh, we'll do the brown. A little bit more. Okay. Enchanted fabric. You have created a simple but strong fabric from from wool and spider silk. You are sure you can infuse it with magic somehow to create a wonderful crafting component. Sweet. Okay, so we've got two other wet crafting things here. Uh, I don't... Oh, no, it's not going to be those. I didn't think so. Um, and we'll just stick you in here for now. Same with the eggs, because eggs are good for the transfer property. String. Um, I know that one of the components is probably magic, but I want to see if... No, definitely not. Okay. Um, oh, also, something very, very useful that I have learned. You can craft magic. Potions have magical properties. Uh, different potions, they all seem to have about two magic when you create them. So if you will excuse me for a few minutes, I'm going to do a bunch of speed potions, and then we're going to see if those speed potions are capable of pushing our magic in the direction that we are providing the magic for us to research that item. Uh, if we're lucky, it, well, it will. I sure hope so. Let's find out. Alrighty, there we go. And as you can see, it does not matter the upgrade, so you don't need to put the glowstone or any redstone on it. All you need is, well, what I'm going to be using is nether wart and some sugarcane, which can both be grown in the overworld these days. So, we're going to try and pull enough magical energy out of these potions to see if we can actually get this. Aha! Well, wow, that actually did quite a bit. I'll be danged! Look at that! 100% complete on the sorcery. And we learned what a third thing is. Fabrico, create, construct, work. I have no idea what that requires. Or, for that matter, what has that? Is that... No. Uh, it's not on the string. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to go searching and figure out what I can get that on, because I don't recall ever seeing that. Ew. Oh, dear. All right, it didn't take me very long to track down a source. Uh, looks like the only thing that I found so far was a workbench, because it's got one on it. Although I did not check to see if a lever had Does a lever have it? No. It's got animus on it, though, oddly enough. Isn't that a little bit weird? Whatever. Anyway, now we've got a stack of crafting tables. I should be able to do that. All right. Enchanted fabric, oh, oh, ahoy. You have created a, uh, yeah, we already read that. Now, Thomonomicon. By combining spider silk and wool and infusing it with raw viz, you have created a silky length of magical cloth that would have numerous uses. You're not quite sure what those uses are yet, but you are sure you will think of something. Sweet. So basically any color wool with some string and a little bit of magic will get you enchanted fabric. So now what's that? Is that like an enchanted stone of some kind, perhaps? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, well. Um, you can go in here. Or, no, we want to put you up here. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, right, that's magic on those. I always forget that. Okay, so. What I'm going to do. Uh, I've got some spare buckets. If I hit you, whoa, I did get something. Void. Uh, okay, keep going, keep going. Another one. Oh, I almost got it. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, and then barter or exchange. So the eggs have that, right? Yeah, perfect. Eggs for the win. Go, go, gadget, egg. Wait, lead transmit. What? Seriously? Lead transmutation. You are now able to transform other metals into lead nuggets. Just requires metal and void. Huh. Entertaining. Well, uh, okay. 
What about eggs? Can I get something out? I can get something out of eggs. Oh, it's another transmute of some kind. And I'm willing to bet it's probably another metal. Ah, uh, boy. I really need to start smelting up some of these ores. So let's grab a stack of copper, stack of iron, stack of tin, another stack of iron, another stack of tin, two more stacks of copper. There we go. That'll fill up all of my thingies. Let the cooking begin. Oh, yeah. See, now this is why I make tons and tons of charcoal when you guys aren't watching. So then I can just go... It doesn't like it when I have the Thaumonomicon in my hand and I'm trying to open these furnaces for some reason. Hmm. Oh, well. And I'm not worried about the Animus anymore because I found several other sources for it. Um, uh, what were they? Uh, let's see. Well, slime balls have four, which is a lot. And I've got like a stack of those. So, I mean, I'm not hurting for the Animus. Plus, I've got all of these saddles with it. And I'm not using them for the squat. <laughs> I might even be able to find a decent a decent potion with it on it. And this potion of swiftness is handy. Because I get the, the movement, the speed, and the magic on it. You know what? Let's let's do one. Um, oh, right. Uh, I almost forgot about you. So, let's do a little bit of metal. I'm willing to bet that I need metal. Yep, that's what I thought. No, oh, just metal. What is it? Silver transmutation. Really? Uh, you face you have a <laughs> transform the next step would be to transform any and all metals into silver. What? There it is. Three silver nuggets and a permudio. Huh. I just this tree is just like keeps going. I let's see if it keeps going. Is, is there more? There's more! Holy shit! Okay, so we get up there, we got Ooh, there it is, thaumium. That's what I wanted. That's what. Uh, that's the good stuff. That's what I've been looking for this whole dang time. And Mr. Slime, you're going to drive me bonkers. That's not cool. You need to die. Like now, Wolfie, come. Something out here needs to die. Go, go away, Wolfie. Wolfie. Dude, over here. <laughs> That's come on. We got something to kill. Hello, Mr. Slimeball. Wow. Okay, that hurt actually. Ah! Angry zombie. Are you seriously slower than all of the mobs? Y you're so useless. All right, fine. You're useless, you know that? It's a good thing you're fluffy and like me, otherwise, well, that's basically all you got going for you is you're fluffy. Fluffy! Okay, come on. Come on. In the house. Can't have you, you know, dying to creepers or something like that. Ugh. Oh, okay, that worked. Put away the slime balls. Okay, what, what, what was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, now we must take out a few of these potions because I guarantee we need magic. Nope. Come on. There is what we're looking for. Keep going. Come on. Come on. I've got lots more potions. You could just, just seriously go nuts, man. Go nuts. Oh, come on. Come on. There's what we're looking for. Okay, you guys can go in here. And now we just need some more exchange barter, which I am yet again going to use eggs for because they've got lots on them and I can get lots and lots of them. There we go. Sweet. We now have Thaumium. You have found a way to infuse and transform base metals with raw magical energy. You are hopeful that the resultant material will prove stronger and more resilient than its components. It should. It should. Okay, so... Now we've got the thaumium. All that's left now is that, which I'm probably going to need to research the th a thaumium ingot to pull off. I think I've got some, so I believe I can start it. Oh, wait, it's just just magic and metal, huh? Okay, well, um, I don't want to use up the thaumium ingots because they're not easy to get a hold of, but. And uh, let's not do the iron. We got lots of tin. Let's do some of the tin. 
get you in here because I know that that's metal. I mean, obviously, what else would it be? <laughs> Put you back in here. And now for the potions because we need more magical. Perfect. Okay, uh, magical building blocks. Wow, it's not even 50% complete yet? Hmm, okay, well, what about stone? I mean, makes sense, right? Yeah, that's one of them. Wow, there's five? Holy crap nuggets. Um... Eh... Uh, er, um, how about fire? How about a little bit of fire? Is that what you need? Oh, Nate? Wow, really? Wood. You need wood? It, it's the, the, the wood out of the charcoal that's actually pushing that forward, oddly enough. I was not expecting that. It's totally random coincidence that I happen to choose something that is a valid choice. Just some random crap in there. And for some reason, it worked. Okay, so we got the crafting table, so we can still get that Fabrico. 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 And boom. Mystical building blocks. Or magical building blocks. <laughs> you have been studying ways to combine stone, wood, and metals to create building materials suitable for the crafting of mystical objects and constructs. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Mm, basic artificing. A little of this. Sweet. Okay, so magical building blocks. You found a way to merge the strength of stone with the resiliency of thaumium. The result is a block quite resilient to daily wear and tear. More importantly, these arcane stone blocks are perfectly suited for the creation of magical constructs and structures, including beacon base. Ooh, so those work for beacon bases. That's good. The lattice of thaumium that forms the core of this block allows it to be easily transformed into myriad of configurations. You have also discovered a technique of engraving and enchanting wood, allowing it to be used for similar purposes. Okay, so five bits of smooth stone, four thaumium blocks, and 20 bits makes eight arcane stone blocks. Um, also, eight blocks of wood plus 20 viz equals an arcane wood block. Or I can get four of them if I use great wood logs. Hmm. Mystical construct. By placing four arcane stone blocks together, as shown on the right, and infusing them with viz, with a wave of your wand, the stones will merge together into an infusion altar. The infusion altar can be used to perform any crafting a normal workbench and arcane workbench can. In addition, it is able to infuse certain creations with mag mystical aspects, allowing for the creation of objects of great magical power. To do this, the infusion altar requires a source of aspects. A crucible is a good example of one such source. After placing the components in the altar, you should get an idea of what aspects are required to create, create an object. If there is a source of those aspects nearby, you should be able to craft the item. It should be noted that a single type of aspect can only come from a single source. The infusion altar cannot draw that aspect from multiple sources to reach the required amount. Different aspects can come from different sources, though. If the source is a crucible, you should note that once the aspects are drawn from it, any remaining aspects might be spilled into the aura as flux. Shift-clicking to create multiples of an item will only cause a spillage at the end of the creation process, allowing you to craft multiple items in one go. Okay, so I actually need to make some of this, which means I need to make this. Uh... uh Five bits, so eight metal and four magic. Hmm. Okay. Well, clearly iron is perfect for my eight metal, but where am I gonna get the four magic? I obviously no, no, not using up my emeralds. Not using up my emeralds. What about these? Well, they've got two each. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to make a few more potions. Okay, and we're practically out of time here. This has actually run quite a bit over. I was not expecting to go this long. I keep getting too caught up in this. I'm having way too much fun with this. Okay, so just real quick here. One potion. Two potion. And then shift right click with the one. Oh, wait, no. That just did what I... I did not mean to do that. I just wasted potion. I just like spilled crap into the atmosphere. That was smooth move. Smooth move, buddy. Smooth move. Okay, so we're gonna put that in. I, I want to see what's inside, but I I, I can't. Can I like right click it with the th thermometer or something? No, I guess I just can't see what's in it. Okay, 
And then we put that in there. And now if I smack it, yes, it worked. Yes, yes. Okay, so real quick now. We need, oh, no, come on. You gotta go get it. Well, it's gotta be boiling first, obviously, but you know. Okay, and one of those. Smack it with the wand, and thaumium ingots. Sweetness. Okay, and now, come over here. I need five of you. I need my other two thaumium ingots. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Wand, and boom. There, now we have our arcane stone blocks. Sweet. And now I can get rid of this, and I can make my workstation. Well, you're going to have to watch next time if you want to see that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.